Welcome to Mastermind Gameplay, where we shoot first and ask questions later. Today, we're going to experience shock and awe. What you're looking at is the ridge line. This ship was intended on shocking our opponent. It has two rail guns and three artillery guns in the front of it. Its sleek design covers the hydrogen thrusters on the sides and allows for the Gatling cannons and auto cannons to do their business. There are three large hydrogen engines on the back which will propel this thing pretty quick. At the top there's another Gatling cannon just in case. You can probably see why it gets its name the ridge line. Not because of just all the ridges, but also it's used to sitting on the ridge line of a battlefield and pecking off the biggest targets. We have a standard gravity generator, a few gyros, air vent. medical station just in case and this is our command center with a 360 degree view I know there's probably better looking ships out there but this one was designed to either take damage or give it. If you notice, there's no antenna on this yet. I prefer to go without an antenna, just so we can sneak up on our adversary. If you use an antenna, they'll be able to pick you up from a long range. In this case, we're picking them up. Here's that original Mayday ship that I pointed out before. Now, Mayday ships, they're already broken. There's usually nobody on board, but the guns still fire. So ships like this, if you're going to go against another player, they're pretty good at giving you practice. See what your ship can really take in a battle. Again, I'm using the camera with the zoom option. In order to... Zoom in on the target and see where I can hit him at the best point. That was three artillery shots. The rail guns do a lot more damage as you can see, but they take a long time to recharge. I don't see any real movement. The Mayday light is still on over there. Let's see if we can take it out. Still looks like it's blinking. Might have to move in closer after this next shot. As you can see also, your enemy's reputation goes down. That basically means your ability to speak with them or negotiate with them goes down as well. As we get closer, the guns are still intact, so they're trying to attack us back. Ooh, got the left side there. But as you can see, we're throwing an array of bullets at it. Looks like three different Gatling cannons, an auto cannon on one side, an auto cannon on the other side, just doing massive damage to this ship. By the time we're done, it's only going to be a scrap.
absolutely obliterated. Uh, maybe we should investigate to see if there's anything left on this darn thing. I don't see any more shooting or anything. I think we took everything off this ship that was active. Nope. Oh, time to investigate. Maybe they left us some good stuff. I think we can't access any of their equipment, per se, or controls. But if you can destroy their cargo containers, there may be some goodies lurking inside. So far, I haven't really found anything out here. But it is fun to scrap everything and steal the cobalt from their hydrogen engines, and you get a lot of extra steel. So in this case, the ridge line doesn't have a refinery on it, but we should be able to collect enough material from this ship and disassemble it in the assembler to get all the resources we need to build the next thing. Doesn't look like I can control any of this stuff. Kind of an interesting ship, not much to it. Just bits of scrap here and there. Now when you're playing survival single player mode, I know that if you destroy a Mayday, later on another one shows up. So I think the computer just continuously generates them over time. Well, that's it for you, poor fella. We're just going to leave you here. Thanks for the ship. On to the next one. Alright, here's another Mayday I found. It's a spat ship, but it used to be a freighter ship. You can see that it's already been split, but I don't trust that. Every time I've come up to a Mayday, there's already been guns activated on it. And these outliers sometimes are their inactive drones. There's one gone. Doesn't look like there's too much activity around here until we actually get closer. Once we get within about 800 meters, you'll see their guns start firing off. Until then, I don't think they know where the shots are coming from since we're not carrying an antenna on this ship. All right, we're going to move a little closer to see if we can scurry up some guns over here. Oh, I knew it. Instantly became active. Jeez, look at those missiles shooting at us. Better take this one out quick. Take on the Hellfire. Maybe if I rotate the ship a little bit. There we go. Let 
Just chopping it down. Oh, didn't expect that. They must have hydrogen tanks on board. Oh, there's another one. Dang. I guess you hit the right spot, the whole ship's gonna blow up anyways. This is a volatile machine. It looks like there's too much fire in front of this camera to really make out what we're shooting at. I think we split it into a third of what it used to be. Nope, I was wrong. That's four pieces. Let's cozy on up next to it. I'm sure they won't mind since they're just smoking anyways. Let's see if we can find anything decent on this remaining ship. Watch out for flames. Hmm, I'm guessing it's from one of our guns. Yep, there it is. They took out our artillery cannons earlier. Lucky shot, I'd say, because they had to make it between both rail guns and all this reinforced steel. I'll have to come back and fix the rest of that. Just in case, I always carry a weapon on me. I know in survival mode you don't typically see anybody or any other guns after you destroy the ship. But you never know when somebody else might come along. This ship is a bit different. Oh, there's another hydrogen tank. It has a bunch of wheels on it for some reason. I'm not sure if they were using it as some type of conveyor system. Maybe part of its functionality. Has more control seats in it. I wonder if we can get it in the locker. Nope. It's almost as if they were constructing stuff within this ship. Maybe this is where they were producing their drones at? I'm not really sure. Or if they just have a bunch of random wheels for no reason. Either way, it's kind of a cool ship to investigate. Excess mm, denied. Ah, uh, that's a merge block. Maybe they were creating weird stuff around here. Nope, well, like I said before, you can't access any of this stuff. Well, on to the next one. As always, thanks for watching. And please leave your tips, tricks, and comments in the comments section. I appreciate it.